Hello, welcome to Blood Wash Church. Happy Mother's Day to our mothers. This message that I'm sharing with you today, I had actually, in written form, posted it on Facebook yesterday, which was May 11th. And I got up this morning and I saw that it had been deleted. I'm thinking, well, wow, that's interesting. Uh, Facebook has never deleted a uh, post that I put up. But I feel that the Lord is saying to me, Dolores, I don't want you to just write something. I want you to stand before the women and I want you to strengthen them. I want them to be blessed by you, even as I have used other women to bless you. Now, one of those women that I wanted, I want to give a shout out to is my former neighbor. Uh, she lived down the street from me. And I remember just during one of the hardest times in my life, she was a source of strength to me. When my husband made his transition to heaven and it was just um, a, attack after attack and just the, just the overall hurt of making that transition, uh, sending my husband off to heaven. And then I had two uh, young uh, daughters and the enemy now this is his, I'm not giving him any glory, but some of you might be in this and you're thinking, well, what's going on? It's not uncommon for there to be an attack and then something else, people will, people, because he's going to use people and they start attacking you, maybe saying things to you, trying to break you down and hurt you. And this woman and her two boys were such a source of strength to me and my two daughters. They brought joy into our lives. I want to talk about her, her one son, her oldest boy. And he now he I hope he gets a chance to hear this because he doesn't really realize that God uses him in a prophetic way. That because he would have dreams and he would tell me about his different dreams. And I remember he shared with me this one dream that he had that he was he saw me and I was on my knees and I was trying to clip cut the grass but I had a little bitty clipper because that's what I would do. I would work out in the yard and, and my two daughters and the her my neighbors, her two boys, they would just be out playing, have playing basketball, riding bikes or whatever. And I'm there on my knees with a clipper trying to cut the grass. And he comes over to me and says, Mrs. Jones, you can't cut that grass with those clippers. Mrs. Jones, you can't do that. And he was trying to tell me it's not going to work. You got to get up. But he said, what he did in this dream, he got down beside me. He got a pair of clippers, a little toenail clippers, and he started clipping that grass with me. That was a spiritual dream, but that is exactly what was going on in my life. I have this hum humongous, impossible task. I'm trying to keep the house going, trying to help these girls whose hearts are broken and just keep things going and keeping my head up because I'm under this attack from these people that are kind of saying different things to me and trying to hurt me and take advantage of me really. And he got there with me, got down on his knees and their love, the love of that family strengthened me. And I'm able to stand here today because of God using them to be a blessing to my life. Another uh, person I want to give a shout out to, actually it's a group, it's a group of women that were at the church I was attending at that time. That was a church, it was in Clawson, Michigan. And those women knew how to pray. I, I shared with them some of the things that were just going on, just the things that were, people were just um, hitting me with. And again, there's no hatred or anger towards the people that this was coming through. They didn't know they were being used by, by the enemy to say the, the horrific things that they were saying. They didn't know that. But but it's just like, well, what do I do? I was so hurt. I, I wasn't really, a, I didn't know how to fight for myself. I didn't know how to defend myself. And those women just came in with that prayer and just surrounded me with that prayer. And so basically, they carried me like you would carry a baby, a helpless baby. Their prayers carried me. 
until I was able to get up on my feet. And they probably don't even realize that because I'm not in contact with those women from that church at all. They've uh, gone to different churches and just, uh, uh, just different things. But when they get to heaven, they will hear the father say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Their prayers carry me. Don't underestimate the power of prayer. Now, I want to speak to you women that the devil, he just beat you over the head. Mother's Day, people don't talk about it a lot, but it's just like Christmas. It's a hard time for many people because the enemy wants to tell you everything you did wrong and your kids are a mess and you're a mess and this happened. Don't receive that. All of that is the enemy with that condemnation to break you down. And let's say you weren't saved when you were raising your children, but you still did the best you knew how to do with the information that you had. Don't receive any condemnation. You cannot run in this race with the Lord. You cannot wage warfare if you're carrying the baggage of condemnation. Whatever you did wrong or what you whatever you did right, you take it and you just throw it to the Lord. I'm not carrying that. I'm not carrying that weight because we are in a war and there is a job to be done. There are people to be lifted up, just like those women, just like my neighbor lifted me, just like that prayer group lifted me. There are people that are waiting for you to let that depression go. They're waiting for you to let that condemnation go. They're waiting for you to let that beat down that the enemy has tried to put on you. They're waiting on you to let that go and then you go and you bring in the children that the father has out here that are waiting for you to be to, to be strengthened by you. Also, women, Christian women, you have children backslidden and they're not serving God and the devil's trying to taunt you and mock you. Let it go. Now, if you've done everything that you know how to do and you repented of anything the Lord has showed you that you needed to repent of and you made things right as, as much as you know how to make things right, let it go. Get back in the army of the Lord. I'm going to close in this testimony. And this just happened yesterday. This, um, May 11th, I was at the gas station and I came across this lady and I kind of recognized her, but she recognized me. And she was someone, a young woman that used to work with me when I was in the school system. And she went on to tell me what an impact I had on her life. She says, I learned so much from you. And she's a teacher. She's in education now. She says, I went on she, and I follow in your, in your uh, footsteps in education, working with special needs children. And it was just amazing to me to hear this woman talk about how I had impacted her life and all we did was work together. But she said she followed my example and she hugged my neck. What I'm trying to tell you is, women, get up. Get up. Don't let the devil taunt you. The way to overcome him is blood of the lamb, the word of your testimony and your testimony, God is good. Anything that I have done wrong, he will fix. Whether I did something wrong in ignorance or whether I did it intentionally, he will fix my past. But what he's asking me to do is to trust him with my future and to step out and to do his bidding, to love people. Like I said, I'm standing here wanting to strengthen you because some women strengthen me. So my word of encouragement to you is mothers, women, aunts, what, women that don't have children, but you're ministering to other women. Those are your spiritual children. You keep going. And in slang, they say, "Go, you go, girl. Go, run your race. Run your race victoriously, throw off every care. Father, thank you for these women that have heard this word. And I'm praying your blessing 
upon each and every one of them. Father, don't let them go another day being tormented by the voice of the devil. I command every voice of the enemy to be silenced against these women. Say you have no part or lot in their lives. You have no say so in their future. They're covered with the blood of Jesus. Any wrong done is covered by the blood of Jesus. Any misstep is covered by the blood of Jesus. Any abortion is covered by the blood of Jesus. Any wrongdoing that they've done even towards their own children is covered by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, your blood paid for it all so we can walk victorious and we can run our race and we can stand before you and hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So I thank you, Father, that you're faithful. I thank you that you're faithful. I'm thankful, I'm thankful that you're faithful. You won't let us fall. You will uphold us and you will not allow the enemy to break us down. I thank you and give your praise for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.